Pass the Energy, Please by Barbara Shaw McKinney. Food manufacturing starts with a seed, and energy waits in a plant to be freed. Like an engine that powers the rest of a train, a plant's the first link in an energy chain. Each creature that feeds on a plant is a link, absorbing energy quick as a wink. If that feeder itself becomes someone's next meal, it lengthens the chain like a new link of steel. And so there's a pattern of energy passed. A food chain has formed, first hitched to last. Each living thing is a link in a chain with a purpose that nature can always explain. Link number one, born in the sun. A remarkable thing about the green plant, it makes its own food, whereas animals can't. Mixing carbon dioxide, water, and sun, Mother Nature has photosynthesis fun. A sugary food, homemade in the leaf, travels through stems, bringing relief. This energy needed to blossom and grow is shared by new shoots and roots down below. When roots reach for water, there's magic osmosis. Minerals pass through the roots in small doses. These liquefied vitamins found in Earth's floor make the soil a natural health food store. It's the same in the sea in the watery world where seaweed and kelp grow swirly and curled. Light shining down in nearly a glimmer lets plants feed themselves or some fishy swimmer. Quite independent on land or at sea, a green plant produces its own energy. Like a true power plant, the energy stored, green plants deserve a conservation award. A plant by itself is a link all alone, its food chain future remains unknown. Till someone comes by with the greatest of ease and firmly demands, pass the energy please. Chains of Two, The Big Herbivore Crew the biggest of herbivores top off their chains by eating huge portions of grasses and grains. Buffalo, hippos, and shy manatees are empowered by plants in great quantities. Saved by their size, even plant-eating dinosaurs live side by side with the meat-eating carnivores. Gorillas love stems and pandas bamboo. The links in their chains add up only to two. Whether leaves, nuts, and honey, or tender young shoots, sweet ripened berries, flowers, or fruit, vegetarian power is equal in strength to the meat found in chains of much longer length. Energy passing from one to another is offered by earth to each animal brother. A chain unbroken along the way links plants and creatures from day to day. Three in a chain on the African plain. A sea of grass on the African plain provides her great herds with the help of the rain. Grazing in harmony, plenty for all, plant power makes them grow healthy and tall. But instinct reminds the gazelles and giraffes and rhinos and elephants nursing their calves. Beware of your neighbor, all glazers on guard. Carnivorous cats share your backyard. A streamlined cheetah designed for the chase runs like the wind and soon wins his race. A graceful gazelle, nature's gift to the cat, gives the feline a future and he's thankful for that. Passing the energy needed to live is a difficult thing for a creature to give, but a chain unbroken along the way links life on the plane from day to day. A chain of four on the meadow floor. A milkweed pod explodes into seed and parachutes down where the meadow mice feed. A nibbling mouse gets his scamper and scurry straight from the seed that he eats in a hurry. But nothing's more tempting than mice on the run to the wigglers and squigglers who bask in the sun. Snakes relish rodents and often depend on mice for their slither to hunt and defend. The satisfied snake is bulging with prey, but danger awaits at the end of his day. Nocturnal creatures need energy too, to see in the dark, to do what they do. 
alert is the owl who swivels her head when she hears the snake rustle a leaf in his bed. Her wide yellow eyes, designed for the night, get their glow from the reptile captured in flight. Passing the energy needed to live is a difficult gift for a creature to give. But a chain unbroken along the way links life in the meadow from day to day. Arctic Five link up to survive. Phytoplankton surf the sea, their plants adrift with energy. Too tiny for the eye to see, zillions float invisibly. Now zooplankton, just slightly bigger, gobble them up with ravenous vigor. Power boosted by their prey, zooplankton swim on their way. Unaware that they've been followed, gone in a gulp, their energy swallowed. Like in order to go, in an ocean deli, they're digested in an anchovy belly. Eventually, the seafood meal is served to a starving Arctic seal. The energy stored is given away to the dappled seal, all black and gray. A risk for the seal who pays a high price is a bear by a breathing hole found in the ice. Supper will surface for polar bear who waits for the mammal in need of air. She thickens his blubber to wear in a storm, and polar bear thanks her for keeping him warm. Fattening up in the Arctic so cold gives chubby young cubs a chance to grow old. Passing the energy needed to live is a difficult gift for a creature to give, but a chain unbroken along the way brings life in the Arctic from day to day. Woodland mix makes chains of six. Goldenrod, growing all mustard and green, is a natural, magical food machine. When the plant full of chlorophyll captures some sun, energy's born and the food chain's begun. Caterpillar, looking for a luscious lunch, spots the plant with its crispy crunch. While chomping away on his leafy treat, power is passed to his six pairs of feet. To a spider in search of a scrumptious snack, the plump leggy worm is ripe for attack. She spins a silk drag line and drops from a daisy, full from her supper. Soon she feels lazy. A warbler waits in the bush on a branch, watching for spider to give her a chance. She swoops on the spider, so thankful indeed for a heartier meal than a seed from a weed. At the edge of the wood, a weasel is walking. Slinking in shadows, he's really out stalking. There's not enough time for the songbird to fly. She gives him swiftness and keenness of eye. Watch out, Mr. Weasel, who lurks at your back. A sly red fox is hot on your track. The weasel is energy just within reach. Her pups share the prey, a portion for each. Passing the energy needed to live is a difficult thing for a creature to give, but a chain unbroken along the way links life in the woodland from day to day. Decomposers on the ground, nutrients go round and round. The animal giants have little to fear, for very few enemies dare to come near. But even top predators, king of their chains, feed hungry scavengers with their remains. The vulture is known as a great opportunist that preys on the fallen if finding it soonest. An energy source does not go to waste. It's passed to each creature that fights for a taste. Beetles attracted to carcass and dung quickly bury their treasure. It's food for their young. And maggots from blowflies will eat all they can, whereas ants store their hoard till hungry again. Moths feed on hairs and lay eggs on sight. Their larvae won't have to look far for a bite. They'll find enough energy needed to skitter while cleaning up nature's most natural litter. No visible signs remain of the beast, but living things wait in the soil to feast. Something called fungus with tangly thread absorbs even more from the flesh of the dead, and millions of microscopic bacteria attack what's left over in Earth's cafeteria. Earthworms then gobble and tunnel below and mix it all up so that new plants can grow. As energy shared by the great and the small, each breakdown releases the best gift of all. 
for the soil some nutrients make their escape, and the circle of life takes its wonderful shape. All nature's creatures linked in some way are returned to the ground in the form of decay, but their energy lives like souls in the earth that nurture new life and cycle new birth. Ecosystems will only survive if balanced food chains keep species alive. Too much of this, too little of that, threatens a healthy habitat. We endanger the creatures by taking their space. They can't make their homes in the natural place. Their food sources dwindle, they die of starvation, and food chains are weakened, a bad situation. Let's learn from the creatures, the wisest of teachers, who pass their energy one to another, respecting and trusting their planet Earth Mother.